Hello everyone, welcome back to another BMG Drive YouTube video. Today we're going to be looking at a um, new mod that uh, is on the uh, BMG Drive website. It uh, just got released and um, it's not on the repository yet in the actual game, but uh, if you go into their website on either like Microsoft Edge or something, you can find it. I'll probably put a link in the description to it. I believe it's called the... Please. I don't know. It's called the Freightliner. Yeah, it's the Freightliner FS65. It's not the same as the other bus on the forums, or not forums, but in the repository. Uh, this bus is actually different. At first, I thought it was the same bus, but it's not. Uh, this is actually a really detailed mod, and whoever made it definitely put a lot of time into it, and uh, it was well worth it because it's a super nice mod. So um, I'm gonna just show you guys really quick all about it you can see here it's uh... looks like a normal school bus kind of like a newer one this is the modernized version so if you hit T so you can see up here if you hit T you're gonna get warning lights which are really cool and then um... i believe if you hit F then the stop sign comes out the push bar comes out and then the uh... doors open so like if you wanted to you could like this is how they would get the children on the bus if you have probably been on a bus before so um K is the air horn like that and uh so there's also fans inside so you just hit control one two three you can see all the little fans inside turn on which is super nice it's got some buttons here and stuff like that. It's just, it's really detailed, this mod is. And it's nice. I actually don't know where the third fan is, though. It's one, two. It might be in the back somewhere, I don't know. But, um, another button. I think G. G turns on the lights inside of the bus, which is nice. And Y is this little light on the top so let me turn it tonight and you guys can see all of the uh, lights on this thing so there it is you can see the little beacon light on the top so if we go inside our lights are already on so you turn them off on which is cool because there's not really any inside lights on any cars or trucks in the game or anything for that matter so this is one of the first for the inside lights but this is just a super detailed mod overall and um, it's really nice so now I'm going to go into driving some of it and testing out some different configurations of it. So, um, yeah, so we're going to hit F. Everything will close back up. I actually don't know what this is. The thing on the back, back here, I don't know what that is. Actually, let me find out what that is really quick. So I'm going to go into here, body, uh, rear airfoil. That, I don't know what that does. It might, like, I don't know. Hmm, that's interesting. If you know what that does, tell me in the comments, because I really don't know what that is or what it does. But, um, anyway, let's start driving. So, it drives as a bus would drive, if you imagined it. You have to sway out to the turn, stuff like that, and everything. So, I mean, it's not that hard to drive. I mean, compared to, like, anything else it's not very fast but there is a uh, Jado version As you can see oh on the right up there is toggle Jato I'm just gonna click this off now so it's not in the way but um after uh, when we get the version that has the Jado we can use it yeah this bus is just it's just super nice though it just nice mod and it's released it's not a work in progress beta release it's actually released so it's 100% finished which is nice because it means it probably doesn't have many flaws <laughs> but everything works on it you can see turn signals warning lights brake lights I don't know what the top red lights do they don't really turn on I guess that's interesting. Yeah, I don't know if those lights turn on or not. 
So, let's get a crash here somewhere. First, we'll do just a straight up collision into this building. We can still drive, but it is completely destroyed. So, let's respawn this, which I don't know why it's here. I'll move it really quick back to our original spot, which is, I'm just going to move it over here. So, we're going to move it right here, and we're going to get a car to hit the side of it. Preferably a truck, though. When we get the D series, if you can see here, just get the stock D series. So I'm gonna do it at probably about, hopefully, 60 miles per hour. I don't know how that's gonna go though. Definitely not 60 miles per hour, but we somehow flipped it after hitting it underneath. It just folded our hood up on the truck, but the bus seems to be okay, besides the fact that it's got some damage. Oh no! Oh, we almost flipped it there. Alright, so I earlier I actually hit some of the panels off when I hit it with a truck. So I don't know if this truck will or not. I'm guessing it won't, but uh, let's bring in another bus here there's also a miniature version which is it's just a shorter version of the truck so let's get that in the uh, privately owned bus which is uh, ugly color green but you know that's fine so spawn this thing up and uh, it's got the white roof and stuff like that alternate colors but I'm gonna change that because it's kind of ugly that green colors we'll make it white with the black roof which is not a very good color but it really doesn't matter this one has everything like that too this is just a I guess you wouldn't call it modernized because it doesn't have any of the lights like on the warning lights or anything so it's a little bit earlier model but whoever did this definitely put a lot of time into it this one actually has a tow hitch, which means it can definitely tow things. We hit that emergency brake there. Oh, we're stuck in the tree. Okay, let's back out of that. Now we're gonna go hit that bus over there. Then I'll show you some more of the configurations. And then that will be it for the video. But right now we're gonna turn it on to here. You can see all the seats in the interior and stuff like that. Just regular seats. Hit him right in the side. Ooh. It popped the hood open on that one. Spawn this. Not spawn it, but move it. Okay. Alright, well, it, it just definitely hurt. You can tell it probably bent the frame, it bent the whole body, for sure. Oh, that is a glitch. I do not know what happened there. Whatever did though, it's definitely not right. Who is that? Yeah, whatever. All right, so <coughs> let's get the uh, miniature rocket bus. But first, I'm gonna get, spawn the army and also the police transport. <laughs> the police transport has some really nice police lights on it. Which is kind of surprising because it's a bus, and they're not like just the stock police lights either. Somebody mentioned uh, in the comments because I could see it through my notifications, but I actually couldn't for some reason see the co the comment on the actual video. I had to reset the uh, comments on the YouTube channel because I couldn't see them in the uh, video. But he said something about. They said something about my uh, computer and needed to get a new one. Not needed to, but like, I probably should. And yeah, that's the truth because, I mean, I can run this game, but I can't stream it or anything. Like, it's just not really possible. So, uh, 
you can see here this thing has a bull bar on the front of it. Plus, uh, about my computer, my computer I have right now is a gaming laptop, so it's not it's not a desktop or anything. So uh, if I, I I really hope one day to get a desktop, which would be super nice, and um, you know, be able to run the games much better and stuff like that. But you can see here it has police lights, which are kind of new and different. It's got some on the bull bar too. It's a police transport. Hit it again. We have a siren. For some reason, the sirens on all the police cars in BMG Drive keep doing this, like alternating, where they like go on and off. Which is, I don't know why, if it's a glitch or something, maybe they just was mod. But um, whatever it is, probably needs to be fixed because it's kind of annoying. But drive that over here. We'll use the bull bar to hit this bus again drive all up onto it so uh, let's respawn this bus and uh, oh things looking around all right so let's flip this bus back over all right this bus I haven't used yet it's the army transport bus it's cool it's got an antenna on the top but uh, it's just kind of a stock bus, honestly, just with seats and everything. There's nothing really different about this bus at all, so it's got a kind of, I mean, it's got a cool color on it, I guess. I like the antenna. It's nice. And then it's got the bull bar, of course, in the front. But uh, we can hit this thing again here for more damage. So uh, delete this one. Well, that actually did a lot of damage to this truck, knocked the front wheel off whole hub and everything so now let's spawn the uh... I'm gonna do the miniature rocket bus I have not used the miniature rocket bus yet I've used the one that's like a uh... has a plow on the front which is actually does more damage so we can use that in a second but you can see this thing it uses rockets the Jado. you can just hold the gas or you can hit O to completely toggle it, which is not very good because now we're just oh no, and I've lost full control, and it is just destroyed. Set that back here. You can see it's destroyed. So I recommend just giving it gas and uh, slowly using the rockets, but we can get up to blow the motor up to 200 miles per hour here and hit a tree oh well there went the body it's probably stuck in the tree back here yep as I expected it is completely destroyed so um yeah I'm actually gonna reset this one we're gonna get down here on this road and then we're gonna respawn the uh, rocket bus and we're gonna slam right into the side of this thing That crumpled mess of a frame. Doesn't even look like a frame anymore, it just looks like crushed metal. So we're gonna floor it. When we get up to 200 miles per hour, we can use some slow mo. right to the side of the bus it's gonna be a major collision already the bus is just it's turning into bodies coming off the frame which is expected our bus is just completely total both buses are destroyed I'm bring these things out see the damage of them right into the same place apparently so there's a lot of parts on this bus too which is nice you can see some of the like roof disappeared stuff like that side some of it disappeared and stuff so I mean overall it's just destroyed with an impact like that really you couldn't expect it to survive it but um let's put that back here 
Respawn that. Respawn that. Go back with it. Or not. Alright. Well, let's just bring this down here and we'll get the one with the plow. So, um. Alright. Turn this thing around and then we'll reset it and we'll spawn the new one. Did not mean to press that. Alright. Now let's get the, um. We'll get the big ram plow this time. There's also derby ones, but they're really just stripped down versions. Actually, I don't even think they're stripped down the uh, interior and stuff like that. They might. I think they're just plain buses with this uh, design on them. But so here we go. We're gonna go full speed right at this truck. Uh, we do another slow motion. Oh, I did not get the slow motion that much in time, and we went right to a tree. Wow. So, yeah, this thing's destroyed. Frame just dislocated the body from the frame immediately. This bus is completely destroyed, so let's respawn that. And, um, I think that's gonna be it for the uh, review today. So, uh, thanks for watching, and please like and subscribe.